Hi, hello. Today we will talk another binary search question. Find minimum in rotated sorted array 2. Let's see what this question is all about. All right, so this question provides us a rotated sorted array. And we had to find a min element from it with an extra condition that it has an it can have duplicates. I have right few examples here. In this case you can see it is rotated and 6 is repeated. In this case 1 is repeated and here 1 is repeated in more. Um, it can be other elements too. It's not only one or one element that can have multiple elements which can be repeated. So how we will solve this question? The first thing we will look at it is look at these two points. The first that it is a sorted array and we have to find min element. Considering these two conditions for sure we will try to look at binary search but in this binary search again we will use advanced binary search because we will make some change and then we can solve this question easily. Considering these three examples here we can see what happened we will take left pointer here we will take right here and in the middle. Now when we will see that we will then we will try to find as I discussed in the previous example uh, the part one where we are mostly interested in this area which is the rotation point where actually it start rotating because there we can find this min element in all examples here. So in the first example if we will look at so what it's saying when we when we find mid we will ask this question that is mid is greater than this end if it is then mid, then this dropping point and this rotation point is in between some some place uh, of mid and end then we will do the binary search accordingly and in the second example if you will see we will take left pointer we take the right pointer and then we take the mid in this case, uh, when we ask this question, that is this mid is greater than end? So it is not. Then we will ask that does mid is less than end? Just to confirm where we are right now is sorted. If it is sorted, in that case, we will either look here. So when we are looking, when we are saying mid is less than end, then we are saying start looking here. In the last example which is little trickier we will be left here we will take right pointer here the mid pointer will be at some place here now we will ask the question that does mid is greater than end mid is greater than end no is mid less than end yes we will move here in that case, it this will become four, five, one, 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 two, three. Again, we will take left pointer, right pointer will come here because we start looking into this side or that side because mid was less. So we start looking into this area and mid will go somewhere here. Now, the, now in that case, this mid is becoming greater than and then we start looking here because this condition starts satisfying so we say mid is greater than and so then yes it is then we start looking in this area so in this area for sure then our example will become like four five one 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 two three and we will move the pointer we'll say if it goes here and will remain on its place mid will come here now in this condition you can see mid and end this become equal and once they are equal so what we will do we will say okay end point you should come one step back so we will keep start here and we will ask and you should come one step back so we will do e minus one and so that we can come out of this duplication area step by step, one by one because when we are in some uh, duplication area it's it's not telling us some direction that either we have to look here or we have to look here in which direction so we 
we go one step, one step, one step to come out of this situation. So in this case, when we will use a binary search, we can find the our, we can find the main. Let's see in the code how we can solve this. Welcome back. So as we already know that we have to use binary search to solve this question. How we will do? We'll call binary search function. We will say here we are. That's the first index will be on zero. The last index will be on at the end, and we can write this method here. Def bs left pointer is here. Right will be an int, and we are expecting it will return as min. So what will how we can solve this? First, we will simply ask. We will say if left is greater than equal to right. If it is, we are in the base condition and we can return uh, nums at left. Otherwise, if it is not, we can do actual the binary search here. So we will say wall mid will be left plus right minus left divided by two. When you find the mid, we will say if nums at now we are asking the question that is the right side is sorted or no so we will say if nums at mid is greater than nums at end sorry right so in that case we were asked we are saying the number at the middle is greater than the number on the right so the rotation point is in between mid and right so we will start looking into mid and right so we will say mid because mid is already greater than nums right so for sure that won't be uh, our small minimum number so we will go mean plus mid plus one and we will go with the right else if it is not the case so we will say else if nums at mid is less than so if it is not greater than so we will ask is it less than right so if you'll say yes, it is less than right. So we are in some sorted array where mid is less than the right. Then for sure we will try to look into the other side, which is uh, binary search from the start to now I will say start. It's left to uh, mid. Now in the else part, when we never find, so for sure that nums at mid is equal to nums at right if all these two conditions don't satisfy. So in that case, we were in uh, some area where mid and right are duplicates. So we can go with the binary search and here we can say left and we will go right minus one. Now that's it. We, we keep on doing that and with this binary search, we'll find our minimum number. Let's run the code and it works. Thanks.